Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video where we're going to be talking about the monthly retest for Bitcoin's price action, the retraces that we've seen in not so distant memory. We'll be talking about the fear and greed index and how that's changing over the past few days. We'll be talking about historical reversals in the crypto fear and greed index and how that translates into price reversals and we'll also be talking about Litecoin and how Litecoin's price predicament could actually inform this upcoming Bitcoin reversal. So much to cover in today's video. So let's dive right into the video after our quick sponsor. Our sponsor for today's episode is Invictus Capital. Invictus offers a smart index fund called Crypto 10 Hedged that provides investors with exposure to the top 10 cryptocurrencies while limiting loss of capital through a dynamic cash hedging mechanism. The fund dynamically adjusts its crypto exposure by an algorithm developed by the Invictus Quant team to reduce volatility and enhance returns. When the market goes down, the fund moves into interest-bearing cash holdings and pivots back into crypto when the market rebounds. To mitigate concentration risks for investors, the fund caps holdings of individual cryptos at 15% while rebalancing the fund weekly. The team does their due diligence and assesses each coin before it becomes eligible to enter the fund. Check out the link in the description down below to learn more about the Crypto 10 Hedged Fund by Invictus Capital and invest today. Awesome. So let's now talk about this monthly retest. We were talking about this psychological resistance in April, May rejecting price. The sellers of this back in May and April are becoming the buyers of this month. But by the same token, we have to understand that this retest could easily become a volatile retest with some downside wicking. And what's interesting about this minus 15% pullback that we're seeing right now, it's much shallower than minus 25% in September. But by the same token, September is where we were much below the old all time highs, whereas now we're seeing fervent emotional reactions, fearful emotional reactions, because we've rejected from these new all time highs and people are fearful about a new bear market beginning. So a few days ago, two days ago, roughly speaking, we had high levels of greed. Today, we're seeing a bit of that uncertainty and doubt creeping. We're seeing a bit of fear come in, but not enough fear because the, the sentiment here is still neutral. And what we need to understand is that, let's just cycle back to that first chart here. This is a successful retest of the monthly region, but this is only November 17th. It's mid-month, so we can still see many weeks of this retesting going on. This is still a retest in progress. And as long as we close on the monthly above this level, all is well and good. But with so many weeks still left for this retest to occur, we can easily see some downside volatility. And that downside volatility is only going to bring this fear and greed index lower and lower and lower. And I'm just wondering, does that downside volatility in that retest attempt does it need to happen to bring this extremely fearful, this index into fearful and extremely fearful levels? Because perhaps that's what needs to happen to lower the sentiment, to make people more pessimistic, more fearful towards Bitcoin's price action, because that's inevitably what precedes financial opportunities and reversals in Bitcoin's price action. So if we just look at historical trends in this sentiment reversal coupled together with reversals in Bitcoin's price action, let's have a look at the 21st of September 2021, the last time that we saw extremely fearful levels in the crypto fear and greed index. So let's have a look at that time, the 21st of September. And you can see here extremely fearful levels for Bitcoin's price action actually saw Bitcoin wick into a demand area right over here. Not a picture perfect retest, but in any case, extreme fear precedes financial opportunity. This was a local bottom, right? And the next time, that we saw extreme fear in Bitcoin's price action was over here. So the first time was 21st of September and the second time was around 2nd of October, right over here. And if we just look at this chart, 
the 2nd of October is somewhere over here in this candle. So you can see how this indicator was reacting or was lagging behind what had already happened in price, this extreme breakout. But nonetheless, the first extremely fearful bottom that we got here was a low. And then we saw consolidation at these lows, but nonetheless at a higher low. And then we saw that second extreme fear point come in, but price had already taken off. This was an ascending triangle consolidation phase here. So extreme fear precedes financial opportunity. Neutrality doesn't necessarily. So while it's great to see this retest ongoing, being in progress, we might see a bit of downside volatility because by the same token, how do we instill extreme fear into the minds of investors? Not by stabilizing at this level. We need a bit of panic selling. We need a bit of volatility to scare investors, to bring down this fear and greed index to really pessimistic regions because pessimistic regions precede financial opportunity. 27 was the fit and greed index number that preceded that bottom here in late September. We're currently at 52. So arguably we need to take it down a notch. Over the past few days, over the past couple of days, we went by by 20 points. We went down by 20 points on the fit and greed index. Another 20 points would be 32. Quite fearful, but not extremely fearful. And I think extreme fear is what we're looking for at this time. But how can we use Litecoin's price action to give us a bit of an idea as to whether or not we're going to be transitioning into extreme fear or not? So this rejection from 270, the blue area right over here, has happened before. This isn't out of the ordinary price action. We've rejected from 270 before earlier this year. And on this rejection here, we revisited the 225 region, which is a support for Litecoin. And when we rejected from blue, we rallied to, we pulled back to red and then rallied once again and then broke to new highs. But during this support test of 225, the red area here, we got a downside wick to as low as the green level here of $206. And what I'm trying to mention here is that in these support areas, in this support area, this retesting is great, but downside volatility during this retest isn't out of the ordinary. So now that we're seeing this retest take place, we are seeing a bit of downside volatility as you can see in the downside wick. But does that also mean that during this week, before the weekly candle closes, could we see a bit more volatility towards the downside? And if we do, then we will surely see downside volatility below the monthly level. So to be honest, we could actually see extreme fear even this week, even this week. If Litecoin were to wick down to this level this week, that would also mean that Bitcoin is wicking down and maybe we'd be able to shave additional points off the fear and greed index by 20, by 40 points to extreme fear just to get us closer to this reversal point like we saw in September. Really interesting, really interesting to think about Litecoin being this cyclical coin, which is doing the same thing that it, it's been doing earlier this year. Could we see that downside wick to promote extreme fear? Analogous situation is Bitcoin downside wicking to promote fear as well. But this would be all part of a volatile retest of a historical support error that is 225 for Litecoin and 558,700 for Bitcoin. So that's one of the scenarios that I'm going to be watching out for this week. Maybe we could even see downside waking be below these two support levels on Litecoin and Bitcoin for the rest of the month. So we could see some consolidation at these same levels for Bitcoin while downside wicking below that level and for Litecoin, some holding here, but downside wicking throughout this week and next week. Who knows?
but these are the scenarios that I'm going to be watching for, for that extreme fear to come along. In any case, while there is a lot of fear in the market, it's time to also celebrate Black Friday. This is an early Black Friday deal where you can get $50 off on all courses, the technical analysis course, the altcoin investing course, and the risk management course. You can get $50 off on each of those and save $150 in total. It's a very rare discount. I very rarely discount my courses because I feel like they are so packed with value as they are already. And discounting them is just getting closer to giving them away for free. But it is Black Friday, so let's just celebrate Black Friday with a nice, great, rare, but great discount. Check out the link in the description down below to make the most of the Black Friday sale. Use the code Black Friday to get $50 off any of the courses. And you can use this code for all the other courses as well. So enjoy the Black Friday sale. Let's see how things continue for Litecoin and Bitcoin. Let's see whether the market needs to turn extremely fearful before we see a reversal in Bitcoin's price action. In any case, guys, that's about it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like the video if you did. If you enjoy this one, I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.